Today we're going to do a shag slash mullet with a razor. This is the tool I'm going to use today, a razor comb. No matter where they part their hair, we're going to do a middle part. Now we're gonna take a radial section that ends in the middle of the ear and you're gonna match the other side. It should look like she's wearing a headband. All of this is going to pull forward. You're gonna divide this into three sections. One, two, three. We're going to cut in the middle first, straight across, and we're going to find something on her face to use as a reference point. For me, it's going to be the tip of the nose. Comb it down straight, maximum tension. You're gripping it. You can grip it like this or like this, and you're going in, cutting. Bing! It's removing length and creating texture at the same time. We cut straight in the middle. Now we're gonna kinda cut in a C shape. We're gonna bend the wrist a little bit. This bang piece is our guide, so hold on to that. Maximum tension, going in and carving. And see how you're bending the razor a little bit. You want this to be a whoop, a curve. Recombing. See how that's got a curvature to it? This is going to be our fringe area. Now we're going to match the other side, and honestly, you're just kind of eyeballing it. It's a real creative form of hair cutting to use the razor, and you do wanna make sure that the hair is wet. That's gonna cause less breakage. I always put an oil in like this super skinny. When I'm cutting with the razor, that helps it glide a little bit better. Take a step back. You're gonna check for balance. Use the tip of your razor if you need to go through and refine something very small. Now we're gonna go through and make another radial subsection, just like she's wearing another headband. It should not be thicker than your comb, an inch, so you can get the razor through it without hacking. You're going to direct all this forward. We can see our guide through it. Over directing it forward, holding tension, and cutting against our guide. Not above it, not below it, but right at it. Now because we've over directed the hair forward, we've taken it out of its home, we're actually saving length. So it's gonna be shorter, gradually going to longer. The length I'm cutting this is going to be more of a shag haircut or a wolf cut, whatever you wanna call it. If you're doing a mullet, you may wanna do this a lot shorter. What I do to one side, I do to the other side. Over direct forward, tension, meeting my guide, carving a C shape. Remember you're bending the wrist a little bit, making a curvature, another radial subsection another headband, move it forward. Match the section on the other side, push it forward. Finding our guide, cutting against the guide in a curvature shape. This is where you'll start to create more of the, more, excuse me, of the mullet look or rat tail look if you want to do a rat tail. You're in control of how long you keep this. So if you wanted it to be short, a drop off of weight, like a true mullet, this is where you're gonna start, right behind the ear where the head's changing shape. This is your long portion, the party part. Over direct forward, see the shape? Match the other side, tension, find your guide, C shape. This is what we have left in the back. Another subsection, they're starting to look more vertical. Whoa, where are you going? You got that mullet and you're feeling sassy. When you get to this back portion, you're really only doing the business part of this cut, the length. So again, you can determine how long you want that. You could do a disconnected cut where it's shorter up here and a drop off, a very disconnected mullet. Or you can blend it together where it follows that curvature. Let's disconnect it a little bit. So it's in between the wolf cut, shag, and a mullet. It's kind of like they're cousins. In the back, we don't have much left, so I'm just gonna split it right down the middle. Work on one side at a time. Over direct this forward. Swing it over her face. You can see my guide. This is the length. Oh, I like that. Match the other side. Swing this way forward, however you wanna hold it to make it comfortable. There was my guide. And I'm doing a disconnect, so I'm gonna be dropping off right about there. Looking at this, I have weight, which is typical on the four corners of the head. Right here, right here, here, here. To remove this weight, I'm gonna take off this top layer, focus on where the weight is, and I'm just gonna kiss this. Just kiss it, it's kinda like using a thinning shear. You can do one stroke, or ladies, you can get silly and do a couple strokes. Take a look at the difference on this side. We removed the weight, this side, Still has it. Now you can go through again with a tip and kind of refine things. Add more texture, 
For this cut, I would air dry it. I'm gonna use this Ex Mondo Styling Serum. It has a light, flexible hold, but it allows it to have texture without frizz. Check it out from the side. Short, gradually getting to long. That's it. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, leave them below. Next Sunday, I'll see you for my other series where we meet in this bathroom and try beauty products and rate them one through 10. It's super serious. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time for something cool.